Hey everyone, I'm going to give a little insight onto building the Lego brick. So I'm going to get right into it. Let's start for, go to the top here, go to new. These are the templates that you downloaded already. Uh, hopefully everybody downloaded. And it asks you to do ANSI millimeter. We'll hit OK. And we're ready to go on this. I'm going to, I may not necessarily do these items in the exact order they're presented on the documentation. So I apologize if they're a little bit out of order. They're generally in kind of sort of in order. But uh, so I'm going to start off right away with material. Edit material. We're going to go down for plastic. It's ABS. Apply, close. Uh, I realize I'm going to be going probably relatively fast, so you can either slow down the video as you're doing it, stop it, whatever whatever helps you out on that. Now, if you go to the left side, you will see front plane, top plane, right plane. Same stuff we've been talking about the last two weeks with orthographic projections. We're asked in this one to go to the to select the top plane. So the top plane shows up in isometric. What we're going to do is hit Control 8 and get it into our orthographic projection. And it asks you then to draw a center rectangle. When you do the rectangle, you want to go right to the origin of the plane, the XY axis. It makes life a lot easier. Start there. And I'm just going to draw a random rectangle that, in my mind, approximates the Lego uh, brick. Uh, we'll go to Smart Dimension and grab one of the lines. In this case, I'm doing the top line. And you'll see it originally comes out to almost 130. This is just whatever SolidWorks decided to be some default. So I'm going to click that. And you can see on the second line, I have the ability to make it whatever I want. And in this case, I'm going to make it 15.8. When I do that, SolidWorks now says, okay, this a line of this dimension is 15.8, and everything else will be drawn according to that basis. Uh, so if I grab the right one, this is coming out as 9.8. I'm going to make that 7.8, and you'll see it shrink a little bit. So that is our uh, basic square or rectangle. The next thing it says is to extrude this, meaning we're taking this two-dimensional object and bringing it into a third dimension. So we're going to go to Features here on the top left, go to Extrude Boss Base, and it shows you the item. You notice that it rotated back into an isometric view. So now we see that three dimension. Uh, one thing that is wrong is that the size shows up as 10. That's the default. We're going to make that 9.6. And I'll, sh I'll show you one other item. Occasionally when you do an extrude, it may show up in the other direction. If you look here by direction on the left side, there's these two arrows. So I can click it and I can actually go in the other direction if I wanted to. But we're going to leave it in this direction. Hit OK. And now I have the block. So now it's solid. Now we got to add those two little round nubs at the top. So we're going to pick this plane. Now you may think of this as a top plane and you'll go over here and hit it, but the top plane is actually in this case at the bottom because we extruded it upward. So this is just a plane that's on the top of the object. Select that and it'll highlight. Uh, hit Control A and it'll bring it back to your 2D view. <clears throat> the next item is we're going to go back to sketch hit a circle and we're going to draw two circles. Now to make your life easier in terms of orienting the circle in the uh, 
vertical direction, draw the origins in line with the origin of the rectangle. So we'll draw one and I'll go to the other side, draw another one. We can go to Smart Dimension and it says both of these need to be 4.8 diameter. Now what I could do is put 4.8 on both and be done with it individually, but what we want to do in this case is to make these symmetric or equal to each other. So if you changed one size, both of them would change. It, would, it helps when you're doing projects where there's multiple, you may have a grid of shapes. So if you make them all equal, we change one, you change them all. So if you select the outline of the one and select the outline of the other, you'll see on the left side, they are will hit equal and now they both are equal. The driving one is the one we already dimensioned. Now the next item, oh, we'll save that. The next item is to draw a center line. The center line is centered at the origin. So we're going to do a vertical center line. Just hit escape on that. Now the next item is to make these two shapes symmetrical around the center line. So we hit the center line, control, then we hit the origin of one, the origin of the other, and these are the selected entities here on the top and the left, and we're going to hit symmetric. So now they are both the same distance away from the center line. So we're centered within here. The next item is to establish the distance between these two. So if we go to Smart Dimension, hit the one, hit the second, and this is eight. So now if we look at this in 3D form, we'll see that dimension. So now if we put it back into isometric, let's go back to features, extruded. And since I already had these two circles highlighted, some default dimension came up. Well, the default is too big. It's nine point, in this case, it's 9.6. We want that to be 1.7. 1. 1. And we'll save that. So now that is our basic brick, but we still have some other problems. One is that it's a solid brick, and if you know a, a, um, a Lego block, they're not solid. They're hollow underneath. So what we're going to do here is do a shell operation. The shell is going to hollow this out, and the shell thickness is 1.6, but we also want to remove this bottom face because it's it's open on the bottom. It's not it's not shelled out where it's just the middle of it. So that we hit the OK button, and now you can see the shelled out brick. Now we have one more item, and that's going to be there's a there's a center shaft in here. But now we want to go back to what was our original top view. And we're going to draw another circle. So we're going to go back to sketch, circle. So 
smart dimension. This one is 3.2. We're going to bring it back to our isometric view. Control 7. So now we see the circle. But the next thing we want to do now is to extrude it back up to the top. So if we hit extrude, now this is the one I mentioned to you that it may go in the wrong direction. And this one went in the wrong direction. So we're going to change the direction. But then rather having this listed as blind, we're going to extrude up until it hits another surface. So up to next. And if we rotate it, by the way, if you take your mouse center wheel, that can allow you just to spin this thing around. And that's our finished brick. If we want to add a little, a little bit more stuff to it, let's color it. So if we go to the left side, appearances, uh, we'll go to plastic, high gloss. This gives us our color, our palette. Let's grab, uh, I don't know, red. Click it, bring it over, and now we have a red brick. So that, if we want to I'll bring it back into uh, isometric view, and that's our completed brick. So hopefully this gives you a little bit insight into how this is built. Uh, we'll see you in class next week.